Blood Strike. This game that I randomly got recommended by an unknown YouTuber <laughs> on my homepage is a free to play battle royale game and it's very heavily, very heavily mobile. Oh my god. I, I would consider myself an average gamer. I, for whatever, for whatever reason, just can't seem to reach double digits when it comes to Apex. However, with this game, it's it's so fucking easy. Oh my god. It's so damn easy. Everything about this is basically just mobile battle royale, except you can play it on the PC. That's literally it. The layout, the hood, everything is mobile. And my god, is it bad. I, for whatever reason, the first time I played the game, I couldn't get rid of the notification about talking in-game. And on top of that, I couldn't get rid of the message box either, the chat box. It was there the entire time I played the first round. Speaking of which, the first round, first time playing the game, I don't have any of the weapons fucking unlocked with good attachments or anything, and I won with like 15 kills or something. <laughs> it was so stupid. It was so easy. It's so like quick as well. I played like about five games, five matches. One of them was solo and it was only the one game, not the solo, but it was just one game out of the five times that I played it that I didn't reach the double Ds. But on, on every other time, even in solo, I got double digit kills. It was ridiculous. It was honestly ridiculous. It was like as if it was I was either playing against bots or actual mobile players. <laughs> I hope for the love of God that it wasn't actually mobile players. And I'm there on PC, <laughs> fucking wrecking these people. Oh my god, it was ridiculous how... It was just so easy. It was just... It was unbelievably easy. It is a Chinese game, by the way. It's a free-to-play game. Yes, it does have, you know, the standard paying elements. And with it being a mobile game, it's pay for anything and everything. Literally everything. However, you can just play the game to earn in-game currency to unlock the characters or whatever. That's what I'll be doing. I'm not sure if I should keep on playing it though. It just feels so wrong. <laughs> it just feels wrong playing the game and you get like 20 kills, nearly 20 kills or something against unsuspecting victims. The way that the game works, it's kind of like, so the main function of it, the main system, the layout and like the mapping and stuff is basically Warzone, mobile Warzone. But the characters that you play as is very much like Apex where they have their own abilities. And then the weapon system itself as well, like for the, for the attachments, you have to play the game to level the weapon up to unlock the attachments and if you want to unlock a specific gun you have to level up a certain gun to unlock that gun to then level that up just to get the attachments for it to make it better it's kind of ridiculous kind of stupid but the whole point of it is to i don't know like be on that grind <laughs> and if you're going to be grinding to improve your weapons then you might as well go on the grind to get the currency to unlock the other characters the movement's kind of janky but yeah i was just bringing this up because it was just randomly brought up to my attention i played the game it was really surprisingly easy, but very annoyingly mobile, even though it was on PC. It doesn't give you the option to close the game, by the way. I, I just couldn't find a way to close the game when I wanted to get off of it. How do I close the game? I had to use Task Manager, I think. What? Where? Uh, where? 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 What? Where's the close button? But yeah, hashtag not a sponsor. If you want to play a free battle royale game that's a mobile battle royale game on pc that's super easy to shit on a bunch of people in the server give it a try <laughs> while you're at it like this video subscribe and i'll see you in the next one